Hi, I'm Mike. And I, I'm Ash. And we love cray fishing. We are going to. We are going out of state. We've always loved what we do. We catch a lot of crayfish. Yeah. Now we're based out of Idaho, but we thought, you know, we've never crayfished out of Idaho. Let's check into it, see where we could go. And and, and you're doing a lot of checking on uh, I did, on YouTube. Wasn't I just I just looked on YouTube. I saw a spot where I saw somebody catching some. Uh, Crayfish off the shore with with chicken and <laughs> chicken and it seems to be the thing and uh, we went about 300 miles away we went over to Utah um, we thought we'd just catch some crayfish a little different species of crayfish than we're yeah. usually catching now now in Idaho we generally have the signal crayfish at right. least around our home base yep. in our secret spawn yeah and uh, but down there it's a little different type of a crayfish they're a, a virilli crayfish yeah virilli so. crayfish they're a little smaller really they're supposedly really good to eat so we thought we'd go try it out we we kind of challenged ourselves out a little bit we we left our boat at home and just thought we'd do a shore fishing thing so we thought we'd challenge ourselves out a little bit see if we catch as many as we catch down there as we catch up at our home base oh yeah yeah well and uh it was a lot of fun and we thought oh man we'll get some great footage and we'll just we'll just have a good time and so we put, really so it. so we, we loaded up the truck loaded up the sun we we kissed the wife, kissed the girlfriend goodbye, and off. No, we... you've got a wife and a girlfriend. Oh no no! Oh, oh, hold on, I have a wife. Ash has a girlfriend. Oh, okay. Kissed him goodbye, and off we went. I didn't know I was <laughs> I was say it. There's going on. You probably don't want to say it on you know on film. Oh, oh man! Dude. So we went. We actually went up, and we we uh, we didn't rough it too much. We no. we stayed at the Strawberry Bay Marina Resort. Oh, that was a nice place. Uh, slept in. Took it easy. Took about two or three every day we took it easy. Oh, the view man. was amazing. On the intro you'll see the view. We had a, a, the marina was beautiful, the sun was coming up, the moon was coming down. It was just uh, incredible. Yeah, it was very peaceful, it was very relaxing. Um, it was a good time, it really was. Well, one thing that I noticed when we did get there was everywhere you went there were strings attached to chicken bones. Now, everywhere. Now listen, Mike is not exaggerating. Literally, you couldn't walk six foot without tripping over somebody's string with a chicken bone. I mean, <laughs> it was weird. I, yeah. I, mean, I mean, I know that that's how a lot of people, you know, crayfish, but I mean, it was everywhere. It was, uh, it was weird. It was like going to a sandy beach in the, in, you know, in the seventies, where just pole tabs everywhere. They were, they, they were everywhere. They were everywhere. I know people. We we took our traps. We 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 love our traps. We catch a lot of crayfish in our traps, so we did that. But uh, the one interesting, the funniest thing about the whole trip was. With the the sleeping in thing. We were all excited to go up there. We got there late at night, and 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 we we it was dark. We kind of got checked in, and then what happened? Oh well, uh, first we just took it easy for going. Well, well yeah, we, we always take it oh, easy. But but then we did get in a little bit of crayfishing in. You know, before we thought, oh, we'll catch a few crayfish, and maybe we can make a, a nice uh, snack for the morning, or maybe a cocktail. Oh, oh yeah, it was fantastic. Yep, and so, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, one thing that, that really shows through on the video, well, a lot of times when we're crayfishing, um, you'll see us crayfishing, but we, we crayfish, and then we eat them. We oh, cook yeah. them right on the shore side. There's nothing better than fresh crayfish, and that really shows through oh, on this I video. Mean, you, you literally cannot get fresher food like that. I mean... I mean, sometimes it's from the trap to in the pot to in my stomach in like 15, 20 minutes. I mean, it, no exaggeration, it's crazy. And uh, it was just so good. And, you know, and, and I've talked to a lot of people about this before, but, you know, I've actually gotten full off of just eating crayfish. Many and, times. And we did this a couple of times. <laughs> On this trip, we thought, oh, you know, we'll bring a few snacks, but we'll end up eating at the restaurant that's there. We never even ate at the restaurant. We just ate crayfish and crayfish and crayfish. It's amazing. It's it, so good. If you've ever uh, dreamed about going crayfish in Utah, you should come with us and go crayfish in Utah. We had an absolute blast. Oh, I think you're going to love it. And if you if you like it, be sure that you subscribe to our channel, be sure that you like our page, and be sure to tell all your friends. Now come on with us to Utah. Let's go fishing. With the leftover crayfish from yesterday, we made crayfish cocktails with some of our favorite sauce. All you do is take it, put a little lime on it, and enjoy. Mm. Jake has butter sauce. He likes that better. Oh, nice big crayfish tails. That was good. Mm. A little bit of lime on it. Oh, that is good. Is that delicious? 
Great fish cocktails are a lot like shrimp cocktails, <coughs> just with crayfish. Mm. Delicious. I give it two thumbs up. It's good. Mm. Crackle. Yes, I'd like to thank Mike who spent a little bit of this morning. Hey, you're like a machine going through those. You've eaten a lot of crayfish. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of crayfish. Matter of fact, I'm probably public enemy number one of crayfish. It's 3 p.m. <laughs> Slept in, kind of enjoyed the morning, enjoyed the afternoon. And now we're going to go. just perfect. Is there anything in there? Yeah. Oh! Oh, what do you got? Oh my oh, gosh, man. there are just a few crayfish in there. That that's a nice, that's a nice catch. Yeah, that is nice. Wow. On Strawberry Reservoir, looks like we got a bunch in this. How many are in there? A bunch. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that one's That is like the mother load. Wow. We probably got 35 or 40 in there, huh? Like 50. Wow. That's a lot of, go ahead and dump them in that bucket there, Jake. It's funny when you catch so many crayfish, it's a problem getting them all in the bucket. <laughs> Holy cow. Nice catch. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> That's oh, one man, trap. There's a good size one. Wow, that is, a, that is a nice one. They just keep giving, don't they? Boy, it does. Wow, this strawberry reservoir is just full of crayfish. They don't want to let go. All right, let me look inside that bucket. Oh, now that's a bunch of crayfish. Beautiful. Wow. I can see this one's full of them. See how it looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. Look at that. Wow. Oh, man, they're everywhere. Oh, man, that is a lot of crayfish. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Some every of good single ones. trap. Holy cow. Just full. Just full. Oh man, that emptied out nice. Yeah. Wow, good job guys. We're filling that bucket up fast. That's only three traps. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's great. Wow. We'll be eating good again tonight. <laughs> Not bad at all. Wow. Three traps. We got about four more traps to go. Yep. That's the next one. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You got a bunch of them in this one. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. That is a lot of crayfish for one trap. Oh, they're falling all over the place. Oh man, that's Holy, like a oh, plum full. nice ones in there too. Oh, there are. Look at that. Oh yeah. Ooh, that is a bunch. One trap, half an hour. Oh yeah. Oh, nice bunch. How many do you think are on there, Ash? 20. 20? Maybe more. It's not the most we've gotten, but that's a lot of crayfish for any one crayfish trap. I bet it is. That's a lot more than what some people would get all night. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. That bucket's going to get too full here in a minute. Five traps, the bucket's almost completely full. Oh yeah. 
Boom! Oh, that. wow. Nice. Then top off that bucket full of crayfish. Oh, man. Look at all those. I better not grab for anything. They'll have me for lunch. Oh, look at that. There's one still eating. Woo! Well, there's a spike in there still. That bucket is plumb full. Holy cow. <laughs> there you go. One run, half an hour's worth of crayfish. Wow. That's a lot of crayfish. I'd probably guess he 10 pounds. Nice. So we'll put the traps back out again, so we're gonna run it again. We're gonna go eat. So, what happens when we forget to bring fuel? Well, we brought fuel, but we forgot to bring it right here. We didn't have enough to boil water for crayfish. So what do we do? We improvise. Fire, I have made fire. <laughs> that looks like it's gonna work. Oh yeah, that'll work, that'll work just fine. I'll probably give the crayfish a little bit of a sagebrush taste. A little sage yeah, to our crayfish. At Strawberry Reservoir. We pulled the traps one time. We ran out of fuel, so we had to start a wood fire. We're gonna cook a lot of crayfish. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Wow. That just about filled that up. Woo! Got some Cajun spice in there. It's gonna be perfect. Dinner served in five in there. minutes. There you go. There Good you job, go. Jake. Now this was our, our first batch over here, and they're already done. That's a big batch. Oh man, it looks like it's just about time.